Okay, so, the mystery clip. I had to watch back my video. <clears throat> Boy, I think this is the third time I've done it with this record player to see where this clip came from. And, uh, I like that. I know where this came from. So, it's come from underneath the plastic uh, cover here. So, I'm just going to put that clip back on. I won't bother putting that on. Okay, so there's the clip uh, back in place right there. And, uh, still loose as can be. Excellent. <clears throat> so we'll just fit this spring clip back on again. Whoops. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. We might be good to go on the mechanics by now. Let's uh, put the platter back on. A lot of these are, uh, oh, I've got the mechanism engaged, so let me, let me finish it off here by hand. Hey, what happened there? Oh. Okay, let's try that again. It should shut off this time. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, you didn't quite see it on camera, but the uh, knob swung to the off position just as it's supposed to. Excellent. So I was saying, oh, look at that. Excellent unit. So when the uh, record player is finished, the idler wheel is pulled away from the uh, motor spindle. And it's also pulled away, I guess, from the platter. So the platter spins freely now. And that's how you want it left. You don't want it, you don't want to put this away with the platter uh, not free like this because you're not actually in the finished position. And you're going to end up with uh, a dent in your uh, idler wheel. Okay, let's give, them, let's give them a go. Okay, let's switch on the manual first. Very good, let's put a record on it. I can't play a record, it's got no needle. But, uh, we're just interested in the mechanics here at this time. Let me give it a little better view here. Okay, uh, here we go. Perfect, perfect, but I did notice something. I did notice something. And right here, I can feel the tone arm bump into something. It's, it's quite strong. And you know what I think it is? I think it's those two pieces of metal that are on the race. And I kept talking about how loose they should be. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that this record player is going to skip when it gets gets into there because of this additional pressure. You can feel it right here. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. So we're probably going to have to go at that again. Um, Time better than now. So let's 
this stuff right here. You know, it feels pretty good, but it's really not loose and shaky the way it should be, so. Gonna go flying. Don't want that to happen. You know, it should. This second piece of metal should just be flopping back and forth when you do that. Grip it here. No, that's, I just don't think that's quite good enough. No. Okay, so I see this back plate is riveted to this piece that comes through and then this is a ring on the outside here and this piece I've got a grip on let me get on the other piece <laughs> ah. it's just not a lot of gripping room on here there we go yeah. so this piece is moving under that ring, which is the part of the rivet here. So it could be trouble up in there. Seems to be a slight bit of oily residue between the two plates, but you know, it's, it's nothing. Might be some kind of a... Uh, like a surface tension sort of thing going on with oil in this kind of situation. So these really are not meant to be oiled. So there's no way I can separate these two plates. My fingers are oiled if enough I'm oiling it with my fingers. That could have been a much better video. I think, I think this was down like that, and I put this here, and then it went. <laughs> Gotta send everything flying. Boy. So I don't know what else to do. It's just to soak it up with alcohol here. And try to get any of that residue out of there. Imagine how long it takes to clear something out from between these two pieces of metal. Yeah, I have to really flush it. I don't want to bend them or increase the play. Definitely some kind of a uh, uh, skin tension thing going on there. Just like uh, I'm sure you've all experienced, if you're not, two panes of glass stuck together with a little bit of water in between. Try and pull those apart. So, of course, these aren't panes of glass, they're not that smooth, but uh, smooth enough that there's some effect. And that's probably why you're not supposed to get oil into here. So I think what I can do is uh, just set 
separate these plates a little bit just, just to keep them separate so a little bit of air will get in there I can see uh, bubbles of liquid between the two plates seems kind of weird so I shouldn't really blow on it myself because I'll be spitting into it to some degree. I don't want that to happen. Okay. Let that dry up. And hopefully those two pieces of metal will, will shake really free. In the meantime, in the meantime, it's always a meantime. We can look at making sure that this uh, little post is as clean as possible. This thing had all kinds of oil all over it when I started, and that generous oil has worked its way into some places where maybe it's not helping. So let me uh, show you this system here of how this works. I don't think I can explain it 100%, but uh, I won't stop me. So. When you look down at this wheel, this wheel is not normally turning. It's normally stationary. It's only turning when this thing's being driven, driven around. Okay, and these little pieces of floppy metal, they go on this post. There's a little tab that hangs down into, look, there's a window there. See, that's actually a window. And through that window, you can see that little part sticking out, that little shiny part sticking out a little bit like a tongue. Now watch what that tongue thing does when I swing the uh, tone arm over. I get right towards the end of the record. See it moving? Now if I pull this back, it stays put. Something else will reset it. Now what this is doing, this is pushing the little metal tab on this, the, this metal tab. And as this thing moves further, pushes that metal tab a little bit further. Meanwhile, while the record is going around, the record player, this is the weird part of it. There's a lot going on here that is really subtle. This record player, you see this little uh, nubbin, I don't know what else to call it, right there. That's the only one. You can look all around it. It's nice and smooth everywhere else. There's only that one. So every time the record comes around, that little nubbin, that little nubbin whacks back the piece of metal that that little thing is pushing forward. That's where I can't explain it too much better than that. At some point, the tongue Push, pushes the uh, metal tang far enough that this other piece of metal uh, engages with see I'm having trouble I think it engages with that thing again and this in turn kicks this mechanism forward you see there's no teeth right there right? oops no teeth right there if you just kick this forward slightly, the teeth engage with this, these teeth. And then the whole mechanism is driven forward, like this whole wheel is spun around. Probably in the process that little tongue gets reset back. So that's what's going on. Now let's see if we got uh, a good situation here with this. I'll put this back up here. 
Let's see where we're at with this guy now. Oh, look. Hear that? That's the sound. Okay, so we'll put this back on. doesn't move very freely. Hmm. Something funny going on there. See anything funny? Let's put this back here. be binding up a little bit. I'm going to put a tiny amount of oil on this shaft here. And, uh, I uh, don't want any oil getting on this plate or in between these two plates that I've just finished de-oiling, basically. <laughs> the oil's going right into the wood here, I think. I'm not getting anywhere. There we go. Okay, now I got a ridiculous amount of oil there. Okay, everything seems good. Let's put this back on. Uh, okay. Certainly ready for a try. Okay, I didn't really want that to drop. I knocked it down by accident. Oop. There we go. There we go. Okay, now, what's this feel like this time?
I still feel it. Well, we'll just have to see. Um, once I put a needle, put the cartridge in and put a needle in there, just whether it can pull the uh, pull the tone arm over. It's very slow moving, so could be it can overcome that that little bit of friction that I can certainly feel with my finger. So, but mechanically, this thing is working really, really well, really well. So, quite happy with that. So that be it for this guy. And uh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, I think I'll just just. Uh, uh, that's it for this guy for the mechanical side of it. I still have to put the uh, new cartridge in and, and play it. And uh, I don't think it needs any electronic work. Um, it's not humming to any great significance. So fantastic. So thanks for watching so far.